This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Often code doesn't work the first time it runs. And programmers have to debug it. Oh, that is so true, guys. Uh, the code below is supposed to make a picture on the right. Let's see. Oh, yeah, definitely not. But the programmer got confused about which order the code should go in. That's pretty common. As well as this, uh, as well as how to put the square in the right place. Do this. Look at the code in the workspace. Change it so it makes the yields picture. All right, let's look at this code. So obviously this square is underneath everything and it should be on top. Well, I'll start there. What happens when I draw, I have a piece of paper. And you've heard me say this before. I draw a square on my piece of paper, huge square in the middle of the paper. Then I, uh, let's say it's a blue square. Then I get red paint and I draw a red circle. What is on top? What is on the top layer? Well, if I draw a blue square and then I draw a red circle, the red circle's on top. It's the last thing I drew. So the computer does the same thing. It reads the code in order. The first thing it does is draw this rectangle. Well, okay, it draws the rectangle, and the rectangle has no color, so it defaults to gray. Then it grabs orange paint and draws four circles. Then the computer finally grabs purple paint, but does nothing with it. The program's done. So first, I'm going to take this rectangle and drop it right there. And now, since purple's over my rectangle, it will draw it. But like the computer, like the instruction said, it's in the wrong spot. Let me click Show Grid. Now remember, rectangles are drawn from their top right corner. If you look under here, you'll see X and Y values. So I'm going to hold it way up over here. Ah, yeah. So it looks like 150, 150 is maybe where my rectangle needs to go. X and Y, reset, run. And is that, ooh, tricky, tricky, but we got it. Awesome. Onward.